Hey everybody, Josh Spoon here. I wanted to share a quick tip on how to manage automation within your tracks. I'm going to use an example of using the volume automation to simply set boundaries within these tracks. For example, I'll use a simple little loop that I made for Blend, which is a collaborative service. And I'll post the link online. You can pull it down and add to it and make changes. I learned early on that it's best not to use the track volume to automate your volume within each track. It's better to use a utility. So I'm going to bring this out and show you an example of the way that most people use the utility, but then I'm going to show you a way that I use it to be able to uh, make some quick changes. So let's go to a new lane here. And let's say we want to ramp up the volume at the beginning. So then I can bring the volume up, so let's say about 7, and here down to about 9, and then the next one and try to get it up to around 7 again. And this is great, it solves the problem of messing with the track volume. But let's say I've made a bunch of automations throughout a 3 minute track, and I've made a bunch of automations to multiple tracks. You can see where this can get difficult. If I realize that some of these automations are a little too quiet or a little too loud because uh, I have no real control over this utility, it's going from negative 36 to positive 36. So what I like to do is put this in a rack. So I'm just going to delete these. I'll just do it from the get-go. So we'll grab a utility, drop it in here. We'll group it. Then I'm going to set the gain to just the first macro. And then I'm going to set a bounds. So let's say I want it to go from negative 36 so we can ramp it up. And then I want it to go to plus 5. So now with this I can ramp up the track and I know the track is going to be at plus 5. You know, that's the highest volume I want it to be. And then I can really work within percentages now because I know it's either going to be from negative 35 to plus 5. So I can pretty much say, okay, I want it to be half the volume here, half the volume here, 75% of the volume, quarter of the volume. say that sounds too loud and it is because we're clipping so let's say we want to bring that down we could bring it back down to zero um, we could bring it to negative two we could bring this up to 24 and all we have to do is just play it back it's now within the boundaries that we set and then you can test while playing simpler for automating tracks and to be able to have a consistent sound throughout each track. Um, you know, if this is very helpful to you, give it a try. Try it with the volume, try it with the chorus, different things as you're working on tracks, and hopefully this will speed up your production. I'm Josh Spoon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and Happy New Year.